so namaste guys so this video is special for those uh, who want to switch from hard surface CAD modeling to blender for animation purposes for example this software is called SOLIDWORKS okay and to make this 4 bar mechanism so I use something called mates but if you go to the blender you will see something called constraints but these constraints will not going to help to make this kind of you know power mechanism animation so for those who are you know blender so I mean SOLIDWORKS or CAD user for example Fusion 360 or CAD user who want to switch to blender this tutorial is for them okay so as you can see I can create the animations uh, I have to increase the FPS uh, SOLIDWORKS is quite different as compared to your convention blender software uh, for animation purposes it's used different kind of you know numerical or mechanism thing as you can see the coloring is quite different and plus it use a lot of math uh, that's the big thing now let's see how I can you know make this same thing or animation in blender so you can see I have made the same thing in blender so let's see how to do digging so a question is why I don't use constraints constraint will not give you desired result so you have to do something called rigging so let's see how to do it so first thing that you have to do is click on add and click on where is the armature so you can see your armature is here so let's try to correctly orient it so click on here and rotate 90 degree minus 90 degree in my case press 7 notice something that your armature is not visible so what I can do is select this click on here and click on viewport display click on in front as you can see it's totally visible right now now what I have to do is I want to take this head to here so I will select this armature go on here and click on edit mode remember I am in edit mode not in pause mode this is a common mistake done by me as well when I was learning so select this press G and move it forward uh, but here's the issue I want to completely you know uh, add the circle of it so how can I do that so go to the object mode and select this press tab go to the face section mode by pressing 3 and by pressing alt shift select all the faces press shift as cursor to be selected press down on your numpad press tab now what I have to do is select this press tab select this shift as selection of cursor so it is exactly in the center of this okay now select this press E and extrude y direction okay now select this press tab when you press tab you will go to the edit mode now what you have to do is click on add click on single bone uh, the single bone will go where I visual 3d cursor is so press ctrl z because it moves here and I don't want here so press shift s uh, set cursor to world origin so it will so my bone will be go here so click on add single bone press g x ok select this press g x and how much 5 in my case now select this tail press g and move it upward uh, press g now I what I want I want to place correctly here so what I can do is press tab select this by pressing alt shift select these faces shift as cursor to be selected shift ok uh, shift as cursor to be selected why it is ok I think I have selected more faces shift as cursor to be selected now it is there press 7 select this press tab select this shift as selection of cursor so you can see it's get some roll so press 0 here now press E to extrude it 
now i want that this head should be here so what i can do is select this shift as cursor to be selected select this shift as selection to cursor now i have made the mechanism now i can do the animation let's see how to do it so click on the pause mode select this bone and this bone press shift i to add active bones so basically this means inverse kinematics so if i select this press r you can see i am getting the desired animation results uh, a question arises that these things are not attached with the bone uh, the reason is that i doesn't you know join join it other doubt why i created this bone what is the purpose of this so here's the thing so you see this thing this thing is called head where this uh, small triangle is this thing is called head and where this this long triangle is this is called tail a head will always point towards a tail it can't point towards heads in case of inverse kinematics okay so the purpose of this is is just to make sure that this thing will attach to this point and so basically it means its head so that is the reason i created it so if i don't create this one and i will try to use inverse kinematics this bone will automatically will try to attach here because a tail always attached to the head okay so i hope uh, my point is clear next thing we have to do is click on here click on uncheck lock objects mode okay now select this by pressing shift select this bone press ctrl p click on bone similarly select this by pressing shift select this bone press ctrl p click on bone select this by pressing shift select this bone press ctrl p click on bone now if i select this and press r you can see i am getting the rotation one more thing that you need to always remember that inverse kinematics has some length for example if i select this one you can see chain length so currently chain length is zero so it will go how much uh, you know your bone is it is a very uh, bad thing so make sure that you increase the length uh, now watch this yellow line very carefully so if it one you can see my only so i can only go to up to this rotation so let's try to rotate and uh, notice something that this bone is not rotating so this is the issue with the chain length now increase again one so up to here there are some times when you don't you know you want to limit up to which you want to affect your bone so chain length is very important if you want to see a practical example please check out link in description of my you know vehicle rigging tutorial you will realize why it is important and you will see uh, the mistakes i have done it is a very useful thing now if i select this one press r you can see it is rotating now how can i animate it so what i will do i will click on bones click on viewport display uh, not here i guess so where it is texture uh, box not box x is not this one this one viewport display click on axis so you can see the position of it so at what axis i want to rotate i want to rotate about z axis so what i can do is press n so you can see z rotation that is basically what i want so make it zero first now if i click on x z y so you can see so this is how you can make animation so what i have to do is at zero at one i will press i i will go to the 120 and enter the value as per my requirement for example 360 press i again and 120 uh, for those who are wondering can you add rpm uh, you can but it depends on how much your fps thing it is a quite complicated one and i don't know how many people will going to love this kind of tutorial if i get good feedback or you know good views i will create more tutorial on this for example how to do certain kind of animations from solidworks password also fusion users okay so if i click on play you can see the animation for those who don't want to see the bones simply hide the bones
so you can see this is how you can make after that you can add you know your own coloring or whatever you want as per your requirement it's up to you but in that way you can make your animations this is quite you know useful for hard surface modeler in fuzzamer cat fusion 360 etc etc so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste